Hey there, productive people. I'm excited to announce that Notion and Sansama have finally integrated together and the integration is live for the public to use now. I released a video a few weeks back talking about how they were going into a beta and I test out the integration live, but now you can use it. So if you don't have a Sansama account and after this video you wanna get one, please use the link in my description because they'll actually give me a small kickback and that supports this channel, allows me to continue making videos like this. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy Sansama. Sansama is great for task tracking. It's great for bringing your calendar into one place, all of your task tracking apps into one place. And Notion is a great database software. So the reasons that I use Notion are different from the reasons that I use Sansama. What Sansama does is it really just reskins your tasks from Notion. So I'm gonna show you guys in today's video how to import your tasks from Notion into Sansama so that you can kind of quiet the noise just focus on your tasks in a beautiful UI and also integrate them with your Google Calendar in the process. All right, so first things first, we're gonna jump into Notion and I'm going to get started with building out this integration. So before you can integrate Notion with Sansama, you need something to integrate, right? You need uh, some piece of data or a table or a database to uh, integrate with Sansama. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're just gonna create a new page and I'm gonna call it task list and we're gonna turn it into a table, okay? And we're just gonna hit new database here because we just want a brand new database. And again, I'll, I'll name it task list. And here we can add some tasks. So if I rename this, I can call it task. So these are basically just the tasks that you're going to try to get in on a daily basis. And you don't have to worry about scheduling them or anything. You just kind of store your tasks here. You can set a status for them like complete or incomplete. And a good way to do that is to actually just uh, edit this property here. We can make it a checkbox and we can call it uh, done question mark. Okay, so now this is a very simple task list, but we could add some more properties to it. We could add a select box and we could call it area. So then we could, we could add like work, you know, personal, like just the, all the areas. So that would be like work, work, health, family maybe. Now the nice thing about this task list is you can really add a lot of properties to it in Notion, but the thing that's kind of a little bit more challenging is just viewing this and connecting it with your other applications like Google Calendar and like ClickUp or whatever else you use for tasks. Because most people I know use quite a few softwares nowadays. Like it's hard to stay in one, especially when you're collaborating with other people. And one software like ClickUp might be better for work, whereas Notion might be better for your personal tasks. But again, if you're just trying to bring things together, that's where Sansama comes in super clutch. Now you can add as many properties to this as you want, but once your task list is complete, uh, we can go ahead and connect this with Sansama. So let's open up Sansama. All right, so this is Sansama. This is just my home page area. There's kind of this side panel where you can see different channels. You can see some more information about your calendar here. You can also go over here and open up like your weekly objectives, which isn't something that I usually use. I usually just use this for tasks. I don't usually set objectives for the week. But then on this right side here, you're gonna see my integrations. So I've got Calendar, Gmail, Notion, ClickUp, and there are a few other integrations here, like Todoist and Outlook, Asana, Trello. So you can integrate whatever it is that you use, but you probably won't see Notion in here when you first create your account. So you'll just have to hit that little plus button right there and hit Notion and it'll run you through the integration. Now I do have Notion already integrated, so I'm just gonna click on that. And all I have to do is this quick find here. So it's actually in recent tasks table because I just created this, but if you can't find your tasks, you can search the name of the table in here. But since I've already created this tasks table, I'm gonna connect that by hitting tasks table. So as you can see, it says no pages once I clicked on that. And that's because this is set to private. So if it, comes up with no pages like that, just go back into Notion, make sure you are on your task database, and then you'll need to hit share. Just click on this and go to Sansama and hit invite. And that's actually all you need to do. Make sure it's set to can edit. 
And then if we go back over to Sansama and I hit uh, Command Shift R for refresh, and as you can see, it took a minute there and it took us uh, sharing it, but now it's actually in here properly. So now we can see these tasks and we can drag them into Sansama. So let me show you how this could be beneficial for you. So let's say on Monday, we wanna go on a run and we wanna finish website edits. So we're just dragging these in, right? Just dragging all of these in. Let's say all these things we wanna do on Monday. Next, you'd go to plan. And now that we are planning this, you'll see that these are imported from Notion. They have the little Notion logo next to them. And we can also add events in from our calendar. So as you can see here, I have two calls and I also have laundry pickup slash drop off in the morning. So let's just add uh, specific events to the calendar. Like um, I don't need to, uh, let me actually close that. I don't need to keep this on here. I can delete this because it's more of a reminder. But as you can see, these are set meetings that are in my calendar. And now I can pull over any tasks from Sansama, like my morning routine here, water, workout, food, shower, meditate. That's something that I created in Sansama by just hitting add new task and writing it out. And as you can see, it has these nice subtasks on here that you can check off as you go. But I'm just gonna drag that into my day. And then you can also drag in your other tasks from Sansama or wherever. Um, let's say that I don't have enough time for this one because it's quite big. Um, but let's say I wanted to drag this in here. This is one of our Notion tasks. So I could actually change the size of this for however long I think it will take. So let's say that I'll take, you know, two hours. Then I could add cook dinner in here, you know, like around 5 p.m. And I could drag that out for however long it's going to take. All right, and then go on a run, another Notion task. Let's port that in really quick and let's put that after our discovery call. Okay, so now we kind of have like Monday planned out and this is actually going to sync up with our Google Calendar, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna hit add two events there and then I'm going to hit next. Now at this point, as you can see, just for this example here, I have like 16 hours of work on Monday. So that's just totally not doable. So if I'm looking at an overwhelming day like this, I can just drag the next tasks over to Tuesday or uh, next week even if I wanted to. So let's just say I didn't have, you know, this one scheduled in, so I'll just drag it over to Tuesday. And I can do that with as many tasks as I want. Let's say that one as well, so that it's a little bit more balanced. You can also click on this settings gear here and you can toggle what it means to have an unrealistic work day. But for me right now, it just says, try not to plan more than eight hours per work day. And then once these are filled out and I've kind of got my workload balanced out, I can hit next. And then you just wanna finalize your plan for Monday. So I might just drag these around a bit. Um, maybe I'll just throw another task in here like lunch break, save, just so that I've got it all penciled in for my entire week. And then I could start cooking dinner a little bit earlier. And then I'll just hit looks good. So now Monday is all planned out and now I can go on to Tuesday and hit plan as well. But the great thing about this is it's all kind of like brought together in Sansama. So if you're trying to manage your tasks in Notion right now, I highly recommend at least checking out Sansama and giving it a try, you know, just seeing if it works for you. So if you haven't used it yet and you want to sign up, use the link in my description. It'll really help me out. And I look forward to hearing what you guys think of Sansama as a task tracking application, along with this new amazing Notion integration. All right, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like on this video, comment below, and also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. All right, we'll see you in the next one.